Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Hello. So today is a requested video. It's all about Disneyland Paris restaurants. Yes. So we had lots of people <laughs> ask for our recommendations, our favourites, and we thought that a good way to do it would be to go through every single restaurant that we've ever eaten at at Disneyland Paris <laughs> and rate them. Yes. Out of five. Out of five. <laughs> so we're going to go from five stars all the way down to one star. And then we're going to do it as like a tier list system. Yes. If you've watched the channel, we used to do these about a year and a bit ago. Uh, yeah, we, we did, did them, them for, for lots of different rides and things. Marvel, I think we did. What's Spot a Time. Disneyland Paris rides. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, this is something that we'd like to do going forward to make it a bit different to yeah. when we've previously done our favourites. Yeah. And we think it might be quite good if you are planning a trip. It will be a nice way to see what our five star restaurants are, what our four star, what our three star, what our two star, what our one star. Will so anything like, make one star? I don't know. I feel like <laughs> one star is like you will never go back. Um, but yeah, we thought it would be a nice way to like put them into categories and chat a little bit about them. But we counted and we have been to 22 restaurants yeah, in amazing. Disneyland I Paris. Did, I, I didn't realise that there was actually that many. That many. And we've <laughs> been to that many. Yeah. So we haven't included bars. We haven't included uh, like food stands. These are just the quick service and the table restaurants that yes. we've been to. And there's still some that we haven't been to haven't that been. aren't on the list. So before we start rating all of the Disneyland Paris restaurants, this video is kindly sponsored by Babbel and we are so excited about this because we have started learning French, which has been a huge goal for us. I um, think I've mentioned it numerous times on the yeah. channel <laughs> that I've really wanted to uh, to get more French sort of under my belt so yeah. that, you know, when we're over there, that we can, you know, attempt to sort of use it. And uh, I think it's only right that we try. Yeah, definitely. So we visit Disneyland Paris loads. Um, and it's one of those languages that we just have always wanted to learn, but we never found the right like course or the right time that fit into our lifestyles. So when Babbel got in touch, we were blown away and we were just so excited because we were like, this is the perfect opportunity to start learning. And we both remember a little bit from school. Yes. Um, but very, very basic. So, um, so when you log into Babbel, it asks you a few questions and I just put that I wanted to learn from a beginner mm -hmm. stage because even though I know a couple of phrases, I just wanted to learn from the start so that I had like a solid foundation again. And it's really, really clever. So it asks you a little bit about what you want to achieve. So my main goal is uh, conversational French so that I can use it on holiday and, um, be able to chat to people and respond and yeah it also asks you how much time you have and then how much you want to spend um each day so i put five minutes so you can choose up to like an hour i yeah. think um, but i thought five minutes is the perfect amount to make it achievable for me it doesn't seem too daunting. Um, you can do it as soon as you get up whilst you're having breakfast, or you could maybe do it in your lunch break. Um, I just thought, thought five minutes is just the perfect amount of time for me. And that will build up as well. Yeah, of course, because uh, as you go along and you sort of get used to sort of uh, where you can fit it in yeah. as your part of your daily routine, I think you'll, you'll start to realise how much more time you do have yeah, definitely. So what's great about Babbel is that it's slightly different from a lot of other language courses. This one is definitely more human based and they do that by using native speakers um, that create the classes. You can also take part in live classes mm -hmm. with native speakers. I haven't done it yet, um, but I'll show you in a minute the app and there is the option to join in on those live classes. So I feel like once I get a little bit more phrases under my belt, um, I might join in those live classes and yeah, be able to be taught by a native speaker, which would be great. There's loads of cool features like speech recognition, yep. podcasts, it's it's really well done so i think one of the main features that i love most about it is the app it just makes it so doable because it's on your phone you can do it on the go you can you could even do it like whilst you were um on the train or bus 
Um, so it has an app, I'll show you a little cutaway here to one of the classes, but as you can see, it's really easy to follow. I love all the visual aspects. I like that they uh, they have like little games as well, like being able to drag certain phrases to each other. Like Martin said, the speech recognition is amazing, so you can definitely check that you are you are pronouncing it correctly. And yeah, I really enjoyed using the app. I look forward to it every day. You can set up notifications, so it will give you a little reminder um, so that you remember to do it. You can set up goals. I've set five lessons a week. That's my goal. Um, but you can change that according to how little or often you would like to do it. So as I said before, I started with the basics, um, but I've been able to learn quite a few phrases which I'm definitely going to use on our next Disneyland Paris trip. Um, so I've been learning greetings, so of course you have bonjour, which we do, um, but then I've also learned salut, which is more of a phrase to use for someone you know well, so like a family member or a friend, um, it's just like less informal. So I've got my greetings nailed, uh, we've also been learning ça va, how are you, how to respond, bien, merci, et toi, and yeah, just started to learn a few good phrases that I'll be able to use. That was good and you, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just starting with the basics at the moment, but hopefully I can document over time uh, learning a few more phrases, um, especially ones that I can use in Disney. So if you'd like to check out Babbel for yourself, we have an offer. It is 30% off um, the six month courses, the 12 month courses and the lifetime access. Um, so it's a perfect opportunity to give it a go. They have so many different languages as well. If you already know French or if um, you want to learn a different language, there are so many on there. Um, so definitely check it out. So yeah, all the information uh, regarding Babbel will be in the description box. And thank you once again to Babbel uh, for sponsoring this video. So let's get on to rating. <laughs> let's get down to business. <laughs> That's what I thought you were going to do. To rate all of the Disneyland Paris restaurants that we have eaten at. Right. And we'll try and be quick because there are 22. Yes. So we've got our system here. We've got one star all the way up to five stars. Mm -hmm. uh, the restaurants are in just random orders. So mm -hmm. whatever we come to. Uh, I found these uh, pictures on the actual Disneyland Paris app. Mm -hmm. So uh, all sort of copyright goes to them. But uh, yeah, first of all, we've got the Manhattan restaurant at Hotel New York, The Art of Marvel. We ate here on our, it was a couple of trips ago now. Um, yeah, and was, all of this, all of the restaurants have pretty much been documented in, yeah. in vlogs that we've done on the channel. So mm -hmm. make sure you go back and check out those different playlists, especially if you're new to the channel. We've yes. got lots of them. But yeah, we ate there a few uh, trips ago. I really, really loved it there. I think I would give it four stars. Yeah, like the atmosphere of it, it was, uh, it's very swish. Mm-hmm. Um, it has the huge chandelier in the middle, which makes it very... That's the... It's Asgard. Yeah. Yeah, which I, I was bad, bad Marvel fan. Didn't realise that when we first went. <laughs> the reason that I probably give it four stars, not five stars, is that I had better food in other restaurants. And I also felt like the theming could maybe just be that little bit more Marvel. Um, it was very understated, which is nice, but I thought it could be a little bit more. So that's why I'd give it four stars. But... A very, very nice restaurant. All right, so we're going to move that then. So that's going into the four star position. Yes. <gasps> What's that I see before me? <laughs> Boulevards! <laughs> see, this one's hard to rate because we have a very personal <laughs> love Connection. for Billy Bob's. <laughs> it is such a like nostalgic restaurant for us. It's very cosy. Yeah, there's just something about it. I think it was one of the first restaurants we ever went to. It's a buffet style restaurant, which means you can eat as much or as little as you like. Um, yeah, and, and it's, uh, it's some of our favorite food as well, like putting together fajitas. Yes. That sort of Tex-Mex. Yeah, and it's a very cool actual place. It's in Disney Village and they have a bar downstairs. Um, they sometimes have like live dancing on, line dancing on, and then they have live music. <laughs> So it's a very cool atmosphere. Yeah, they did have performers. I'm not sure where how that stands at the yeah. moment, like doing all sort of Western stuff. It's but a tricky one because in my heart of hearts, I want to give it five stars because <laughs> it's such a nostalgic thing, but I don't think it is a five star place. So I feel like I might have to go in four stars again. Um, yeah, I think so. I, 
yeah, I think we have to give it four stars. For nostalgic reasons, yeah. And also, the food is good. It's not the most amazing food, but it's good. Um, they have a wide variety as well. And, yeah, we just love it, don't we? <laughs> four stars. Billy <laughs> is going in four stars. Right, this next one is Chuck Wagon Cafe, which we uh, we went to when we stayed at Hotel Cheyenne. Mm-hmm. That's where it is uh, located. And uh, I think the night that we went here, I was really you tired. Were really tired. I mean, so we went you quite late. Really eat a lot. I didn't eat that much. Whereas I thought that the food was really nice. Um, Had a wide selection. From yeah, what I can it did. Remember. And it had it, the theming was really cool, and it was all set out like different Wild West stands, I think, uh, if I remember correctly. Kind of something for everyone. Kind I think of because feel. nothing's shouting out to me, I would maybe give it three stars. I was thinking three stars. It's a great option if you are staying in the hotel or if you're staying nearby. I wouldn't probably recommend it if you're not. I don't think it's a restaurant that you should travel to, um, but I think if you're staying in the hotel, it's a really great option, and I think if you're staying nearby, it's a good option. Yeah. So, three stars. It's kind of like your your classic Disney buffet, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this next one sort of set out a bit similar. So, this is La Cantina. Oh, yes. Santa Fe. Yeah, and this was a while back. It's quite tricky to remember exactly. Yeah, we what ate like. here. We've never stayed at Santa Fe. Well, I have when I was a child, but we've never stayed there in recent trips. We have looked. Might change next year. We have looked though at certain times, and yeah. it comes out as quite good in terms of the price. Mm-hmm. So maybe soon, because yeah, it's all based now. It's based around cars, isn't it? Yeah. Again, it was. Pro- pretty much a similar buffet to Chuck Wagon Cafe. Yeah. I would say that I did think I preferred the food at Chuck Wagon Cafe to it. And I also preferred the um, atmosphere and the seating at Chuck Wagon Cafe to it. So I think I might have to give it two stars. It's not awful. It's not awful by any means. <laughs> but it's not up there with Chuck Wagon Cafe. Oh really? I, I was going to say that it's on it's level. About the same. Yeah, because okay. they've got the same vibe, mm-hmm. and they I think they're set up pretty similarly. Yeah. Okay. Let's give it three stars. But if if it was me, I would probably go to Chuck Wagon Cafe over it. Oh, okay. But they're so <laughs> similar that if I was staying at Santa Fe for ease, I'd probably just go to it. They and are, then they if are, I was staying at Hotel Cheyenne for ease, I'd probably go to Chuck Wagon Cafe. They are good. Yeah, to when, be fair, they're probably are oh, the same level. When you're uh, staying in those hotels, it's so mm-hmm. nice to have a restaurant built into the yeah. hotel. Makes the evening nice and easy. Yes. <laughs> Next is <laughs> McDonald's. Obviously was... not, not Disney, but we've included every restaurant that we've ever been to. And it is in Disney Village, so... Yeah. I was a bit like, should we put McDonald's in? But you, you were out of it. We had to everyone. put every single one on Disney property. This is a hard one, you see, because obviously I would probably not recommend going to McDonald's just because you have so many other great options that you can't get at home. I mean, just because it's a McDonald's and, and it's like, you know, you can get them pretty I think much everywhere. Two. I love McDonald's. <laughs> I was going to go three again, but you know. No, I love, I love McDonald's and I have it in the UK. <laughs> but if I was to say... If I was to suggest to someone what restaurant to go to if they were visiting Disney, I don't. I wouldn't recommend McDonald's because you can get it at home and there's so many other great options. All right, so you're you're basing your rating not really upon like the food or anything. Yeah. Like that. You're just basing it on the fact that like it's not as unique as some of the other places. Not as unique, and I just don't think it's on the same level as those two buffets. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Well, I'll agree with you on this one. It's not one star because I think one star is like, I'd never eat there again. But yeah, but I, like, we do go there. We do go there. <laughs> but I'm saying that you're... Do you know what I mean? You're basing this solely on the fact that it's not as unique as the other places. Yes. Okay. 
the next one. Oh. <laughs> Oh, is that Earl of Sandwich? Earl of Sandwich, <laughs> which went up in our estimations on the last trip. I think had we based this on our first ever experience of Earl of Sandwich, it would be one. <laughs> because we really did not have a good experience there. But yeah. in our last trip, we ate there twice. And both we times we had a great experience. Um, Again, we went during the middle of the day when it was mm-hmm. quiet. And uh, yeah, food was lovely. And every time, every time we went, I ended up getting what Helena got last time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to give it three stars. I think three, yeah. It's a really great solid option if you are wanting something quick, um, as long as it's not a long queue, um, and you're wanting something in Disney Village. And then if you're wanting something that's really filling but isn't like a huge meal. Um, the sandwiches are really filling, but they are just a sandwich. It's really nice. Next is Casey's Corner, which is in uh, Disneyland Paris Park. Yes. Disneyland Park. And, ooh. This is a hard one because Casey's Corner is <laughs> iconic. And I know it is so many people's favourites. And everything about it is so cool. I love where it's situated. Yeah. I love that you can sit out and watch the parade you can sit out and just like people watch people in um magic in um disneyland park yeah the food ah i feel it's a little overpriced i feel it's 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 quite different to the one that you get in walt disney world yeah and we we've eaten there we've had chicken nuggets and we've had the hot dogs (laughs) we ordered the chicken nuggets thinking they came with fries yeah i just think it's a little bit overpriced but it is such a cool place, though, as well, that I, I would recommend that you try it at least once on your trip. Yeah, and it is, if you can get a seat outside, it is amazing. It's between three and four stars for me. I think I'd be controversial and go with three. Yeah. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Again, these are just our opinions. Yeah. And our opinions change, constantly. you know, constantly. And we will eat there. Again, of course. Oh, yeah. Like, we'd eat at all these places. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even McDonald's. But on this day, as we look at this... The list, the lineup of this some is, great restaurants. This is how it goes. And then what it does is it opens it up for friendly debate friendly in the comments debate. as well. Yeah, friendly and nice debate. Yes. <laughs> okay, next is Five Guys. Again, this is kind of like McDonald's in the way that I love Five Guys. I think the food is amazing. Um, I actually think Five Guys is better than McDonald's, food-wise. The burgers and the chips. You did say that to me, and then I tried the burger and the chips, and I was Mm. sold. Yeah. (laughs) The only thing which would make me not put it up there is for the same reason as McDonald's, and it just, you know, it's not as unique as the other ones. You can obviously get Five Guys, not as much, but you can get Five Guys at home. Yeah. So that would be the only reason... I think that I think I'd give the food four stars because I really really love the burger and chips. I think they're a great burger chip op- option. And the only reason I'm putting it as three stars is that it's not as unique like McDonald's. Oh, uh, okay. I love the chips and I love <laughs> the burger. Put it into four stars. I think it's just four like, stars. It's so good though. Um, this next one, I actually I can't remember too much about no, it. No, neither can I. Uh, New York style sandwiches, which mm-hmm. is sort of like an alternative to Earl of Sandwich. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the good thing about this place is that you get annual pass discount there. Mm-hmm. But I've been trying to wrap my brains, and I really can't remember I can't much remember about it. it. Um, I think it was just kind of like your average sandwich. I don't think it was anything to write home about. Mm. Um. I think I'd probably pick Earl of Sandwich over it, but we haven't given it another shot, so... Uh, next trip, I think we should try it out. It's between two or three stars for me, I don't know. I think we should put it in two, two. just because there's nothing that stood out. No. And we'll try it on the next trip. Let us know see. in the comments if we're missing a trick and it's really good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just can't remember it. We Rest... haven't put anything in five stars yet. Not yet. Restaurant on Colise, I think it's called. This is like when you're walking oh, yes. through Walt Disney Studios... And it's all that sort of cool interior. Mm-hmm. And then uh, you can go up to the top and there's all those mm-hmm. bright signs and stuff like that. Or you can sit downstairs next to mm-hmm. all of the Star Wars posters. Yeah. Which I love. <laughs> so this option is like one of the only food options in Walt Disney Studios. 
They well, did have the food carts and they have There's more now, yeah. Which we haven't eaten at. But at the time of us going, it was one of the only places to like sit down and have food. And it still yeah. is a quick service. Um, I would put it in four stars because I think it is a really, I like that there's always somewhere to sit. Mm-hmm. I like sitting up the top. You have an amazing view. Um, they always have like seasonal um you get the themed burgers the themed burgers so we had like the bb8 and um, was it chew- no did we get a chewy one from that can't remember i think so but they always have like the themed kind of fun stuff yeah so i feel and it's in the park so it's yeah. a great location so i put it as four okay uh, Annette's Diner. Oh, we love this. We did love it here, but again, we only went once. It's really fun. So the waiters um, and waitresses are on um, roller skates, roller blades. It, the por- portions were big, I remember. Yeah, and I think I do remember being happy with what, mm. I'd, what I'd got. And we walked out saying, I can't believe we'd we go never back. Been there, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we'll go with four, because I wouldn't have said that otherwise. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> I think we've got our first five star <laughs> Bistro Chez Remy. So five star is kind of like the restaurants that I would eat at all the time if I could, <laughs> and there is just nothing that I would really change about They're them. Next level. They're just the top tier restaurants. Oh, they also this this has got a very special place in our hearts because yeah. of the the whole evening and. We got engaged the night mm-hmm. that we went to Bistro Chez Remy. Mm-hmm. The food was incredible. The food was so the nice. The theming is possibly my favourite theming out of any restaurant. Yeah. Uh, you know, you shrink down to the size of a rat. Parasols, but like, they, they're they not parasols. They're um, like cocktail yeah. um, umbrellas. Uh-huh. I can't remember the official name. Um, you sit on... Bottle tops. Bottle tops. Yeah. It's just so clever. Like... After you finish eating, just have a little walk around mm. um, and take in all of the details. I think it's probably one of my favourite, if not my favourite, restaurant in Disneyland mm, Paris. We've been trying to go back since, but yeah. it's always always booked up. Always really fully booked. Um, it's obviously one of the pricier restaurants, um, but it's worth it. If you have a special occasion or you're thinking of doing one table service, I would always recommend that one. So yeah. five stars, taking it... <laughs> Rightful place up top there. First one as well. <laughs> I wouldn't change a thing about it. I love it. What's this one? It's Agrabah oh, Cafe. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we only ate here once. Um, the thing is about Agrabah Cafe, the theming is incredible. Yes. It's so cool. It's Aladdin themed. The only reason we've only eaten there once is because I just wasn't, well, both of us, we just weren't really a fan of the food. It's Moroccan yeah. style food. And if you love that food, then you'll love the restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, it'll definitely rank higher for you. Yeah. yeah, that is the only reason we don't really go there. So... I'm just going to put it as two stars. I think two star. Because it's a hard one, because if you really love the food, yeah. you would rank it high. But it's just a personal palette. The next one is <laughs> it's the Pinocchio one, but I can't remember how, oh, what yeah. you call it. Um, Chalet, Chalet de Marionette. It's on my phone, but I don't have it with me. Yeah, it's the, <laughs> it's the Pinocchio themed restaurant in Disneyland Paris in Fantasyland. Quick service. Uh, quick service, and they sell. Um, I remember. I think I got like. It's a like German. It's like bratwurst, sausage. sausage. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, I liked it, but I, liked I think it. I remember that it was it was a bit spicy. It was a bit spicy. So again, I, your personal palate, if you. Yeah. Like things a bit that spicier. was the thing with Cafe Agrabah as well. It was some of it was really spicy. Mm. Where it's situated, I will, will say it can get a bit manic. I remember it's quite a busy restaurant. Um, so if you're looking for somewhere quieter, that one's quite. I remember it was quite busy. Yeah. I think th- three. Three stars, yeah. And let's go for three. Um, also, just realised as well that um, they've added quite a few restaurants now to the mobile order mm-hmm. on the app. Which is fantastic. Like it saves you a lot of time. So it used to only be two, I think. The next one is it's Captain Jack's. I think that might be a number five star. <laughs> I think so. I, I yeah. Simply for the theming, like the theming of that restaurant. 
is incredible and the atmosphere you you feel like you're outside um yeah. it's it's incredible how they've how they've made that atmosphere like, i feel very they, relaxed when i'm inside there yeah uh, and then we're always holding out hope that we're going to get one of the tables next to where the ride comes round. Yeah. We haven't managed it yet. It's a really great restaurant if you like seafood. Um, but also if you don't like seafood, it's also a really good restaurant because I don't like seafood. Yeah. Um, but there's always stuff that I can eat as well on it. Um, so yeah, definitely if you like seafood. But if you don't, don't panic because there is other stuff. It's a special one. I even had my birthday in there. Yeah, and I love watching <laughs> people on the ride. <sighs> It's, yeah, I say Bistro Chez Remy and Captain Jack's really, really, really great restaurant. Theming plays a, a huge part. I feel like the theming can actually sometimes, not in these cases because the food is very nice, but I feel like the theming can even boost up a, oh, yeah, a restaurant where the food hasn't been yeah. as good. Oh, well, you talk about this next one. <gasps> it's cafe home period. <laughs> I got a feeling you're going to want to put this in five stars, but... I think I am. Really? So, the thing is with Cafe Hyperion, it's obviously not a fancy restaurant. It's not like Bistro Chez Remy. It's not like Captain Jack's. <laughs> it is a quick service restaurant, and... Yeah, I wouldn't say there's necessarily... There's, there's no already theming. any theming. Like, obviously, it is in um, there's Discovery a big, Land. There's a big stage. Yeah. With uh, cartoons playing. What I love about it is that it's very <laughs> relaxing. It's huge and I, I feel like a lot of restaurants sometimes in the parks feel a little bit cramped this one feels huge there's so many places to sit I don't think we've ever had it where we haven't found somewhere to sit no it does so like the one in Walt Disney Studios it does all of the themed burgers um so <laughs> it's definitely it's my favorite quick service it is a very relaxing place and we do find ourselves in there a quite lot. a lot <laughs> Okay, four stars, four stars. I can't put it on the same level as Beach Show with me. Akuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Freeze. It's I, also a great restaurant. I love this restaurant. <laughs> the theming's great. It's Lion King themed. Um, Plays they the have music. a Timon section and a Pumba section. And they play the music. Uh, the food's great. Chicken um, strips. The chicken strips from there. So good. I think the first time, or first couple of times, I would always go for... Oh, what was it? Like a kebab type thing? Oh, yeah. Um, and I was always envious of the chicken strips. <laughs> I think it has to be four to five stars. No, if we've put Cafe Hyperion on four, it's going to have to go on four. Oh, really? Because <laughs> it can't be higher than Cafe Hyperion in my eyes. <laughs> Even though it's a very strong quick service. And probably one of the quick services that I'd recommend the most if you're visiting Disneyland Paris for the first time. Yes. Lucky Nugget Saloon? Yes. That's right. So this is the place where, and I don't know if they're doing it yet. I don't know if they've brought it back, but when we went this time, they uh, were doing like a show on mm -hmm. the stage and I think it was to do a Toy Story. Yeah. And it was with puppets, I think. And so we went, we went in one day hoping it was going to be on, but it had literally just finished and it was the last one of the yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like had I seen the show... I feel like I might rate it a little bit higher because it would have been like a whole experience and... I remember the food was nice so I'd be tempted to go for three stars. I was thinking three because it's a nice solid option and I think even better if you manage to see a show because I think that would elevate it. Yeah. But Plaza Gardens! Plaza Gardens! See I love Plaza Gardens. Um, I know it's a little bit of a hit and miss like some people really don't like it but I, I like it. It's very in the midst of everything yes. it's in um main street as you go around the corner so it's very like you look outside you can see the castle yeah and we did a character breakfast there <laughs> uh we've done one where it was just a normal buffet and then a character breakfast we went to the normal buffet quite a few times yeah, yeah. and the character breakfast just really elevated it um so for breakfast it had like fruit um cooked breakfast Pancakes. Waffles. Uh, Mickey waffles. I think you have to go in four. What about the fact that it's got the character breakfast? More, does, that, does that push it or not? It is a very cool experience. I would probably recommend it because of the characters. The food is, you know, good. But also because it has the characters, it just gives you a chance to like meet all the characters without 
having to queue. Okay. It's a really hard one. Four this is this is all hard. What do you think? Four or five? <laughs> uh, let's put it at four for now. We'll have a look at everything at the end. <laughs> uh, then we've got Crockett's Tavern. So Crockett's Tavern <gasps> oh, was actually Tavern. A, a hidden gem mm-hmm. for us. Uh, we've been a couple of times, haven't we? Yeah. And it's always nice because oh, it's quite far out from yes. the from the park. I mean, you got to drive there to get to it. We've been we've been there when we've stayed at Davy Crockett uh, Ranch. And gone on a summer's evening where they had like the barbecue yeah. going. I would say visiting it when the barbecue is on. I don't know if they still do it, but that was such an amazing experience. Yeah. I love that they had like a huge barbecue outside. It was and so relaxing. I, I'm going to have to give it four stars because I, I love it. It's probably my favourite hotel, one of my favourite hotel places to eat. I preferred it to Chop Back and Cafe and La Cantina. This is Yacht Club. Yacht Club. Five stars. Yacht Club. Ooh. <laughs> so Yacht Club is in um, Disney's Newport Bay Club Hotel. It was a beautiful restaurant. Um, it's Yacht Club theme, so it's not like overly Disney. It's no. definitely more adult in that way. Um, so it's nautical themed. It was the most perfect like date night venue. Yeah. I I loved it. And we were sat next to the window as well, mm-hmm. so we could see people passing by. We could even see over to Hotel New York. It just had a lovely atmosphere. You know, yeah. when you just go in somewhere and you're like, oh, this is nice. This is nice. <laughs> and it's not too far from the parks, walking distance from Disney Village. Overall, the service was great. The service was great. Uh, the only thing I say, the service was a little slow, so it is definitely an experience. Like, I think mm. we were there for two hours. Yeah. Um, so bear that in mind it's not like a quick run in grab something and go it's yes. definitely like a sit down enjoy table your service evening. enjoy your meal vibe yeah um, but yeah it was it was lovely it's definitely up there with uh, Bistro Cheremy and Captain Jack's for me mm-hmm. I really liked it we booked it on a bit of a whim we did uh, and the last one is Silver Spur Steakhouse Ooh. The food here was was, nice. was some of the best food I've had mm. in any of the restaurants. Mm-hmm. We ran into a little bit of a problem where um, somebody stole our table. Yeah, <laughs> I, do, I feel like that tainted it a little bit at the beginning. A little bit, yeah, because we it, were waiting for quite a while. It's a hard one. I wouldn't. The theming isn't my favorite. Like it's just. It's very it's, much like the Lucky Nugget Saloon, saloon isn't it? it? Is. Except it hasn't got the stage. But the food was really good. Should we put it to five? Oh, really? Because <laughs> no, of the food? No, the food was really good. Maybe, yeah. Maybe we're being a bit too harsh and we should forget about what happened before. Maybe we should just count it from when we sat down. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm, Go I'm gonna to move it. I, Go it, it, was the, it was. I was really, like, I remember commenting about the portions how... portions were huge. Yeah. How much... I wasn't expecting it to be as good yeah. as it was. Should we go through? No, nothing was one star because I feel like no, nothing was bad. No. So in it, two stars, McDonald's, for the reasons I... Just that it's not unique. Uh, New York style sandwiches because I feel like we just need to go give it another chance. Yeah. I can't remember much about it. And Agrabah Cafe, amazing theming, just isn't our personal taste food wise yes in at number three chuck wagon cafe la cantina Erda sandwich casey's corner casey's corner cafe oh no. this is the marionette one the marionette Pinocchio. one i can't remember how, what that's called and <laughs> uh, oh, this lucky is lucky lucky lucky. yeah i think that's right because i think they're solid options and then number four so these are some of our like favorite restaurants manhattan yeah billy bob's, billy bob's. Five guys. I, there's some that, I, Does five guys really deserve to be in four stars? You want to put it to three? <laughs> Go on <laughs> then. Sorry, five guys. Again, it's just one of those ones though that I don't think it's unique enough. Yeah, okay, okay. I get what you're saying. <laughs> okay, so four stars. Manhattan, Billy Bob's, restaurant... Uh, on Calice. On Calice. Annette's Diner, Cafe Hyperion, Akuna Matata, Plaza Gardens... Crockett's Tavern. Crockett's Tavern. They are, like, I'd recommend them in a heartbeat. And then we're on to our, like, 
we would recommend these as our top restaurants that we have eaten at. Yeah. And we wouldn't change a thing. Like, we love them. Yeah. So that is Bistro Cher and Me, Captain Jack's, um, Yacht Club. Yacht Club. And Silver Spur Steakhouse. Silver Spur, just such a... Uh, that was a little, um, what do you call it, like a, an underdog. Yeah, it was. I, it's I think the food, should, the food was good. I think we should try it again. Wow, that was tough. That was really hard. <laughs> but I like these because it opens up like conversation. Yeah, it does. And, and it makes then, yeah, you think about them all. We want to know uh, your opinions as well. And then there's places that we still really want to get to. I mean, Waltz, we'd love to get to we'd Waltz. We'd love to get to Waltz. Let us know your opinions in the comments. And if there's any restaurants that we haven't eaten at that are five star in your opinion, let us yeah. know. But yeah, hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in our next video. Yes, if you like this one, hit the like button and also subscribe. And we're always on the lookout for new videos to add to our video ideas. So mm -hmm. if you have any ideas that you'd like to see on the channel, they can be Disney or non-Disney, uh, pop them in the comments. Yes. Uh, and then also uh, hit that bell button as well oh, yeah. for a notification every time that we upload just yeah. so you don't miss out. And then just a quick reminder that all the information for Babbel will be in the description box. And again, a huge thank you to Babbel and we're excited to carry on learning our French for our next trip. Merci. <laughs> Au revoir. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Toodle pipski. I'll be